complete name is Maru Fava. Oh, that's my family. I have a 18-year-old son, Andrew, over there. A daughter, Alexandra, 15 years old. And I have been married to a very good-looking man for 21 years, <laughs> right there. But he's mine. In the fall of 2014, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. A few months later, I had a radical mastect double mastectomy. I was healing, feeling well, but during the reconstruction process, I experienced severe pain on my right rib cage. I am not going to bore you with the ugly details, but by January of 2015, I was diagnosed, still gets me, with a fatal primary liver cancer that came with a very poor prognosis. It was completely unrelated to my breast cancer. Could my life really be over? This happens to other people. This doesn't happen to me. I needed to be proactive. I felt lost. I longed for some sort of control. What do you do when you need to get ready for the fight of your life? <laughs> How do you train for that? I'm gonna tell you what I did. I did put on those boxing gloves. Sorry. <laughs> so, I got a second opinion. I looked into complementary and alternative therapies. I attended a nutrition seminar hosted by Believe Big. And with Believe Big's help, I changed my diet. I started mistletoe therapy. I read books on radical remission, alternative medicine, and I prayed. Oh boy, did I pray. In the weeks and months that followed, I had a couple cycles of chemotherapy. I had a successful liver resection. I continued to follow my new regimen with supplements and mistletoe therapy that were prescribed by my natural physician. A few months later, I finally had breast reconstruction surgery that had been interrupting while addressing my liver. These are the facts of my story. I like to tell you what I believe. I believe that mistletoe therapy was critical in preparing my body for chemotherapy and surgery. I believe that my diet, supplements, vitamins and exercise helped my body heal. I believe that one would not have been successful without the other. I truly believe with my whole heart that not one single thing made me well again. I truly believe that the multifaceted approach, along with my deep faith and the support and love for my friends and family, it has made it possible for me to be here with you tonight. It hasn't even been a year since my last surgery. But in fact, when I mentioned earlier that I had successful liver surgery, I like to tell you how successful it was. One week to the day of that liver surgery, I was in my son's school watching him receive his high school ring. <laughs> Three weeks after the surgery, I was sitting where you are sitting tonight listening to stories filled with hope. I was not wearing flat heels, flat shoes. I had high heels. Take that, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Today, my life is in a stable and healthy place. My journey has added a new dimension to my already full life. I like to end by saying, I am not a cancer survivor. You don't just survive cancer. I am a cancer fighter. In one way or another, 
I will forever fight cancer. I believe, and by that I mean, I believe big that with your help, we can win. We can win. Thank you.